Now, in this question 3, they say a convergent geometric series is given by these terms. Remember, this is what? This is term 1, this is term 2, and this is term 3. Okay? It's very important to know that. And then, for the fact that they mentioned that, um, for the fact that they have mentioned that this is geometric series, Okay, what do we know about geometric? We know that R is going to be T2 over T1. Okay, and looking at the first question, they said determine the values of X. And they sent you a message here, a convergent. Okay, convergent means your R is going to be less than 1 but greater than negative 1. That's what it means. This is the condition that makes a convergence, that makes uh, the sequence or the series to be, to converge. Okay, so this is the condition. You make sure you get your R as and this is going to help us to find the value of x as well. The first thing, you must know your r. Then you take r, you put it here, and then you solve for x. Yeah. So now, what is our what is our t2? Our t2 is 5 and 2, this is x plus 1 over 2. Or power 2 all over all over 9 so I suggest because of these uh, divisions or because this is what a fraction so this is a fraction so I suggest we do this style okay fraction divide by like this divide like this and then put the other one so this is t1 which is 5 and 2 1 plus x plus 1 all over 3 okay why are we so sure this is our r is because we are told that this is what a geometric series so in meds you can change this into multiplication sign but after doing that you have to you can or you have to flip Oh yes, you have to flip this uh, fraction. So we have multiplication. Now this three becomes what a numerator, and this is what denominator now. Okay, from this case, this five will cancel. This five, this three will go here three times. Um, and then this one of this bracket will take one of the brackets there. So what do I have? I have R. What is left here? I'm left with X plus 1. Aha. But here I'm left with 3. Okay. So this is going to be my R. But how to get X now? Okay. Now you substitute your X here. Okay. Sorry, you substitute your R here. So what are we going to have? We are going to have uh, X plus 1 all over 3. Okay. The reason why we do it like this is because they, they want, um, they, they, they told us, they, they, they told us that this geometric series is what? Convergent. So... They said it's convergent. Now from here, you can say you multiply both sides with this 3. Then this side will have negative 3. Uh, now it's, we are left with plus 1. Then we decide to have 3. Okay, you can say you multiply all times 3 times 3 times 3. This 3 will cancel this 3. This side we are left with 3. This side we are left with negative uh, 3. So in this case... We are no longer multiplying now. Now it's like, think of, we are solving for x. You take this to the other side. You take this to the other side to leave x alone. So in this case, if I say negative 3 minus, because this one will be minus, 
minus um, 1 is going to be negative 4. And then now I'm left with x alone. I do the same thing. Take this to the other side. I will have 3 minus 1. This is going to be 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. Okay, this is my x now. x is greater than negative 4, but it's less than 2. Okay, this is going to be your x. 3.2 says, if x is equal to 1, calculate the sum to infinity. Okay, let's go to the formula. Because the formula will tell you what do you need. We have sum infinity okay, equal to a over 1 minus r. Okay, which means you only need a and r. a is the first term and r is the constant ratio. So, how to find a in this case? They said x is equal to 1. So, you take all, you take this x, you go and plug there. So, the first term we have 5 into 1 plus 1 all over 3. Okay, this is going to be 5 and this is going to be 2. So, 2 times 5 is 10 over 3. This is going to be 10 over 3, my first term. And this is also equal to A. Okay. And how to get R? We said R is finally equal to X plus 1 over, over 3. And then which means our R is going to be, is going to be R equal to, 2 over 3 okay and then from this point you can find the sum to infinity remember it's a over 1 minus r okay so a is what a is 10 over 3 all over 1 minus what is r is 2 over 3 and when you press all this using your calculator, you will get 10. Okay, grade 12, please try to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you want to see before you go for your exam. Thank you.